Welcome to Ride and Chill with Grant and Bill. I'm Bill, he's Grant, etc. Well, it's got a bit chilly now. Yeah, it was nice and sunny this morning. Mm. So, yeah, I've used the shape part quite a lot, as you know, and I like that as a phone case and it's the kind of thing where I'm happy to use it infrequently. I'm, I'm not the kind of person who has their phone on their handlebar the whole time. Yeah. So, I, yeah. God, I was going to say, I, I just tend to live with my phone in my back pocket. So uh, the moment I get to my bike, it's like, oh, where am I going to put my phone? So I just stick it on the handlebar. I don't, it's not like I've got to have my hand, phone on my handlebar. It's just I don't want it in my jacket pocket kind of thing. Yeah. Which is the opposite of where you are, where you are, isn't it? You, you're not bothered about having it on the handlebar. You're quite happy to have it in your jacket. Yeah, or in your, I think. Or in your bag or something. Yeah. Um, and you know, I've used Google Maps and Apple Maps to navigate places, but that's the appeal of the Beeline to me is that it's just a small display that shows you everything you need to see. I don't really want to have my phone on my handlebar taking yeah. up all that space when I can have a neat little unit that sits there. And I kind of like how clear and basic it is, just having a big arrow showing you where you're going. Yeah, I can, I can appreciate that. I mean, but, I mean, my main point is I like to see... I mean, I've got a nice big map now in front of me of the, the water on my left and the, what the road's going to do in front of me for a long way, you know, half a mile ahead of me. Because it, it feels like the beelines for people who are exploring as well. It's not like a person who's too worried about navigating it's like I know I've got my end route end destination in mind but I don't really mind how I get there yeah and, and times time doesn't matter kind of yeah. thing yeah I totally and I think to be honest with you I'd, I'd quite happily use it for that almost like like you can use Calimoto for the same thing just like get the twisties yeah you can use you can use beeline to just get you going in the right random you know in the roughly the right direction and just see where it takes you yeah, so uh, that's where it feels to me like it's almost a kind of Sunday ride thing where you'd use it for going for a poodle, not necessarily if you're using your phone for navigation every day. Yeah, like I mean, a, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think it's for like a Deliveroo rider, is it, on your yeah. scooters zap, zapping around the city centre, but yeah. if you want something really small and discreet, then maybe, you know, it could be, it could be used for that, it's not impossible, it's just not as user friendly is it yeah before i got quad lock i just wanted a phone mount that was kind of a forever phone mount not one of these just cheaper ones from ebay and i wanted not one of these ones where you have to flex something like the, you know where you've got bending arms or elastic bands that kind of thing mm. i just wanted a solid solid unit it's going to be on there for as long as I ever need it and all I've got to do is just swap the case every so often every you know, every two years if I upgrade my phone which I don't now I've stopped doing that so this phone case should last me quite a long time it's not got a mark on it nothing's started creaking or relaxing or being a bit slack it's all as good as the day I got it out of the box how long did you use the Beeline for when you had it? Well, I used the app, don't forget. I haven't used the actual unit. Oh, okay. Because we, we didn't have one, did we? No. I thought so, maybe you got hold of the unit as well. No, I haven't used it. Well, I think you'll have to give it a go. Well, I'm happy to give it a go. And it's not it's not that I don't want to give it a go. It's, um, yeah. you know, um, Matt had it, Tony had it, you've got it. And then it's probably only today it's come back to be free again, isn't it? But I've tried the, I tried the app. In the car, I just in the car, you, Bill. Just, I know, but in car. I know it was, it was one of those days when the, I can't remember what I was doing anyway. But um, I was in the car that day. But I feel like you were going to fetch the kids or something, weren't you? It was something like that. Yeah, there was yeah. a good reason. But anyway, um, I just it's just things like when I went around the roundabout. It, it when you're going straight across the roundabout, it still pointed left for me to go left. You know physically round the roundabout then forward and then right and then forward again as, as I went round the roundabout and I just maybe that was just a, a, a random thing it did but it just seemed a bit OTT to me to be 
that detailed. I just because you know there's two different modes. There's the route mode and then there's the compass mode. Yeah, yeah. It might be the mode that you had it on, perhaps. Because I, yeah, I, I, I don't know if the app's got. I don't know if the app's got the choice actually. So that could be a thing. I think it does. I think when you first select your destination, it asks you if you want compass mode or route mode. Yeah, well, there's probably just a button you just press on the screen anyway, just like that. Because I think I've been using route mode, I've not tried compass yet, and I find it nice and intuitive. I've not really run into any issues. And connect straight away, I know when Matt was using it, he was having connection issues. Yeah. Um, but I've not had that. I think having up-to-date software on your phone makes a big difference. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah, I haven't really taken it anywhere exciting. I've just, I've just gone on my route home, which I know anyway. So it's yeah. kind of. But in terms of like visi like legibility of the of the information on the screen, I find it really easy to use at a glance. Like the, which exit on the roundabout I need to use is easy to see. It, I can clearly see how far along the journey I am, so I find it nice and intuitive and yeah. No, easy I, I, to use. I, I, I agree with that. It, it, it does work. You've got the you've got the arrow giving you the, the general idea, and you've got the little bit of information inside the arrow. I just I just like TomTom -tom style, the old-fashioned style sat nav. It's what I've been using for so many years. Although I say that, and now it seems to have frozen. So. Where are you going? That's what I want. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Right. <laughs> was it that exit? It was the one for staining. Yeah, we should have taken. That's hilarious. Is it the? It looked like the B line froze. It wasn't telling me what it normally tells me at the roundabout. Right, Where so are you going? Hey, what are you doing? It's a good, uh, a good demonstration of the B line to not know where you're going, isn't it? See, that, that's pretty much what happened to me on the roundabout. It, it sent me left. It wanted me to look like it wanted me to go left. But it was straight on at the time. Yeah, it's weird because um, it, it normally tells me what um, exit I need to take. So now it's showing me the exit on the roundabout. I guess maybe it's not counting that big sucker as a roundabout. It's, also, it's, it, there might just have been a bit, a bit of lag. It might not be the B line at fault. It might be the information coming in from your phone. Yeah, definitely. Do you know what I mean? It's just your phone maybe lagged a bit there. So it's, it's only it's only repeating what I guess yeah. what the app what the app is doing on the phone. It's just a repeater, isn't it? Of course. So technology. Oh, you love it. Back in my day. It's... How are you enjoying your? Uh... Are you using Apple Maps then? Yeah, I've got Apple Maps. So... Always use it. Use it. I've got TomTom -tom in the car built in, but even in the car, I don't barely use it. I just use this. This sort of got the same. I've got quad lock in my car, so I just plug my phone in, sit it in the dock, and uh, just use the just use the iPhone's own Maps app, app. It gets me all over England, all over France, through the Alps, perfectly. Never lets me down. You've never had an issue with Apple Maps. Never once. Oh. Not once. Not even. The only time it shut off was in the um, Mont Blanc tunnel, and that's because I was inside the Mont Blanc tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> I remember back in the day, Apple Maps was a bit sketchy, but I think when they first launched it, which is typical. Yeah, I mean, you, that's what you did. You always removed Apple's one and put the Google one on, and then, yeah. and then the Apple one became quite good, so... But equally, I find Google Maps a bit crap these days. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've used Google Maps for a long time. So going from uh, Apple to Android, I've kind of, because I used to use Apple Maps and then I'm back to Google Maps, but, meh. Nah. Nah. But, I mean, I've got, do you know what's coming up next then? I know there's a roundabout coming up. Yep, first exit. I'm going to take the first exit. Yep. My arrow is basically pointing straight ahead. So are you able to sort of download maps into this, routes into this then? Yeah, so, um... You can download a GPX file from the interwebs, from t interwebs yeah. of a route. So if you plot out a route specifically, you can download that in Google Maps or wherever you find your maps. And if you open that file on your phone, it will ask you if you want to open it in Beeline. 
and so it's quite easy to um, import custom maps onto the B-Line, a lot I'm easier guessing, than I thought it would be. I'm guessing that's what you've done now because we're going a yeah. custom route to this destination because obviously mine's taken the quickest normal route which is a bit yes. more boring and I would yeah. have gone right there. Yeah, so yeah, that was the turning point I think where this, this is going to take us through upper beading. Yeah, I was um, just adjusting now. Basically, I guess it comes down to what you're using it for, really, doesn't it? I yeah, think I think I think you got the nail. I think you hit the nail on the head with with the um, social, social and domestic rather than commuting and work. I think you know. I think it's just for. A, I w I would use it for the weekend. Yeah. I want to get to I want to get to Eastbourne. I don't care how I get. You know. Yeah. Which which road it takes? I might I might take a different road that I don't know, and that'll still sort me out. I'm interested to combine it with um, Kalimoto. Be interesting to like uh, get a nice route out of Kalimoto and stick it into this and see if it will work with that. Because uh, you know, rather than just getting the direct routes out of Google, that would be a nice easy way of you getting a nice curly route and uh, going somewhere interesting. Yeah. I've not tried that out yet. Well, and. Um, this isn't, oh, I'm turning, I think I'm turning, left, yep. why not? It doesn't seem to recognise many roundabouts or that massive job, um, which is interesting. Perhaps it, perhaps it does recognise them, it just likes to keep you on your toes a little bit. Yeah, I mean, does it really matter which way you go? It doesn't really, does it? Not with that, because it's, it's designed to... Get you there. Take, if you didn't take that road, take the one after kind yeah. of job, isn't it? I, mean, I, I remember the, like the, you know, the, the pre-production videos that they first put out when they were testing it on bicycles and things around the estates and things. Yeah. And they're just thinking, well, oh, I'm going to have one of them when they come out. You know, I really, I really like the idea of them. And what changed? I just really, I just really like my normal sat nav. I can't help it. Oh wow, you know, that's fair enough. <laughs> Each to their own. Yeah. It's a real rich mixture as we keep saying. Yeah. Would you consider it to be liquid smooth? I mean, my experience has been fairly liquid smooth up until these sketchy roundabouts today. Yeah. Disappeared. No, I'm here. I tell you what, the uh, mm -hmm. now we've got the mesh working properly as well. Isn't, that, isn't, it, isn't it a lot better? Yeah, I, I feel like last time I went out with a ride uh, on the ride with you, the mesh was dropping in and out constantly. It, it was constantly, yeah. Because I think yours was set to mesh, and mine was set to um, infrared well, or something like that. Infrared. <laughs> it was a joke. We were oh. meant to turn there, weren't oh, we? Oh yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, you see. Tell me to do a U-turn now. So there's a turning coming up on our right, I think, or on our left, there's a turning, the road splits. How far are we looking? Is Any moment, the... where that car is. Oh, Somewhere down there, the road should split. We're just going to loop it. <laughs> Yay, there we go. Easy. It'd help if I paid attention to the uh, B line. Yeah, the B line's going right. You've been having a go at me about not taking the roundabout. <laughs> and then I when mean, I do, when I do give you a good, a good <laughs> route to take, you just ignore it. <laughs> so that's that to me is a bit of a limitation where. I missed the turning and it's kind of just, the arrow was just pointing backwards again. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not exactly saying, oh, you know, go around the next roundabout. It's just like, oh, you need is to it, turn around, son. Is it this one here? I think it is, yeah. yeah. Are we literally here then? This is it, isn't it? I believe so, yeah. That was fairly quick. Um, but something we didn't mention was the kind of anti-glare screen. Is it good? Um, yeah, I mean, I found it good. It's been legible. We had a bit of sunshine yesterday and I was using it and I could still read it. 
Yeah. The only thing I'm not sure about is whether you can use it at night, because I've been through a couple of tunnels and I literally couldn't read the screen. So I'm not sure if you can actually use it in the dark, which would be something to double check. Here we are, guarding a U-turn. I think we're here. Fuel coffee house. Oh, there's a nice booster. Yeah. We're going to park up, we're going to park up, kind of pa parallel to that bad boy. Yeah, next to the booster. It's okay to TLK apparently, whatever that is.